Today, um, we're coming back to these medallions and we're going to uh, try to flip them over carefully. So the idea is we've already cleaned off the back as much as possible, flattened out the areas that stick up. And we're gonna lay a round piece of plywood on the back as a stabilizer. And as it needs to be round um, because we're going to try to scan it. It's gonna go on a turntable that we can set the speed of and it'll spin it if all of this goes as planned. So stabilizer on the back, flip onto a turntable and then mount the scanner above that so that we can then move the scanner across the surface of the medallion and get a good scan. Lots to learn, um, a lot of things to try to figure out. So let's get started. So we bought a house. An 1879 mansion in desperate need of love with a legendary and unique history and a community to match. This is the story of our house and the legends of Lemp. Hold on. Awesome. It's the Mary Poppins bag. Battery. Oh, I see it. It's on the outside there. There you go. Oh, thank you. All right, so let's measure line to line because then we know we got a... Correct. It is 42 and a half. 42 and a half inches. 42 and a half inches. In diameter. Make sure I get the same measurement on this side. 42 here. So. Uh, that's on the shorter part. So these segments, let's talk about this for a second. This was definitely molded in segments, probably to make the molding process easier. And then it was glued together at the segments. This segment here is problematic actually, this particular segment, it's warped. So when it was first molded, it was misshapen. See how this drops about an, a half an inch here, but it's right on here. It's right on pretty much here and here. So we've got a low part. And what happened was that definitely contributed to a stress that created a crack. So we have a crack and this one wiggles. This one right here wiggles. So we have to stay away, completely away from that one when we're trying to flip it. Um, and also we have to keep an eye on it so that it doesn't start to separate and knock more plaster loose on the other side. So that segment's an issue. Um, I'm also just wondering, like once we get this piece of wood on the back, what are we gonna lift up on? Are we gonna just try to hold it against it and lift against this? Or are we gonna have to try to move this um, wood? You know I know saying? we talked about before, kind of building, uh, building it within a frame. So doing the plywood, laying some two by fours going across this way to attach to these other ones here. So that way you kind of have pressure on both sides. Yeah. So we just sandwich it essentially. Yeah, so it's like flipping a cake. Okay, done that. let's do it that way. It's a great idea. Okay, that's our center.
<laughs> it looks that. 42 right. and a half. Right on. Okay, we got ourselves a circle. So let's cut this thing. That was a uh, that was a lot harder than it should have been. <laughs> I just wonder if that blade isn't not the best blade. I mean, it seems like it fits all the way around. Right on. So next we get some two by fours. We lay them across here. Yeah. And then we do something to hold it to these two by fours. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So, 60. All right, and we're gonna go, good enough.
good. Okay. So. Um, we're going to flip it. How and where do you want it to go? Yeah. I assume you want to scan on this table. I want to go straight over with it. Okay. Kick these out, basically. So pick up. Okay. Knock these off the table. Straight over. Hey, I think we should have been wearing these the whole time. We may need a hand. <laughs> we'll see you guys, but uh, I think we can just knock them off with our legs. It's gonna be loud, but. Part of that. Let's go. Yep, there you go, good job. I don't like that sound. Just drop it. <sighs> just... Okay. You do it. What are Grab we doing? the, get the thing out. There we go. Now we're just gonna flip it. Okay, so. Just uh, like, I'm, I'm trying to hold it up so it doesn't rest on that middle thing, but just like this. All right, can we go this way so sure. that way we're not resting on that? Yeah. Does that make any sense? Yeah. I think it's easier, hold on. It's not a matter of weight, it's more a matter See, that's of, what I was worried about there. Yeah, I know, that's why I was lifting it up. Whoop. What are you doing? We're gonna flip it over now. Let's go. Okay. Good. There we go. Not bad. I don't think we lost anything. I don't think we did either. This is just glue that came off between lath. Yeah. There's a laugh mark on that. That was actually. off before. I was nervous that was a piece of it, <laughs> but it isn't. Wow. So now okay. we undo four screws and lift Just uh, star bits out, which I have the star bits in the truck, not in the... Oh, no, just unscrew the, the four that you just put in. Lift this up. Oh, right. That's true, duh. <laughs> Nice. I feel like that's that's probably it. Uh-huh. So hey, look at that guys. It comes right off. Since this is fiberglass. <laughs> Let's look at it. This is the, this is the first time <laughs> we've ever seen it like this. Oh no. This close. Yep, that was definitely separated there. It can go back though. Just a little bit of This was the one we were nervous about plaster. right here. But as I was assuming, you can see how it's an overlap. Here. Yeah, they used so that they to cover it. So they can hide the seam here. Yeah. Now I don't want to wiggle that too much because I don't want it to pop this guy off right here. All right, okay. Anyway, let's keep going here. So you can see how much these have been painted over. This one's been painted over so much that the rose detail a lot of paint. isn't there anymore. A lot of paint. Let's get those brushes. Look at that. Let me take these off. So 
So do you want to do a practice scan before we really try to clean off too much of this paint or? Yeah, I just want to get it clean uh, to the point where anything that's red, loose will come off. That's about it. We're going to need to plug up that um, vacuum cleaner. <laughs> we might, yeah. You know? To get some of this stuff in here. Right. This is where, this detail right here is where I'd be really worried about trying to do silicone. For sure, you could never in. mold that, but I don't know if we can ever even scan it. I'm sure this is a separate piece here. Yeah. So I'm sure it's this part up to here, and then they stuck this to it. Well, you saw that glue running down in there. Maybe that's what it was for into the center. Right, I'll take this last piece off. Pardon me. I'm going to... What's, what's really cool is that you can get down to certain to a certain layer and I can see it more, where was it? I just saw it a second ago where they're, the old really probably gold paint or the finish on it. And you can see a little bit of it shining through right here. Because it has more of a glittery tint to it. Little spider webs. A little piece from this section that fell off. She doesn't look too bad for being 140 years old and suffering. How many children in this house? Cool. You can see some of that gold paint right here. See that right there? It's more like iridescent. I think that we think that was the original layer. And then over time, it's been this battleship gray, baby blue. And then this faux bronze. I think we will need the vacuum to vacuum a lot of this stuff out. Yeah. I'll go get it in a second. really gently just kind of pushing on these flakes yes you can definitely see almost it instantly oxidizes it's like a really shiny paint it's right there right there with some mm -hmm. let me see if I can push up there watch it's well it came off there it is <laughs> see it see how bright and shiny that is That's what it was pro probably coated with. Really bright. Okay. So, let's think about this situation. We're definitely gonna need to vacuum it. We're gonna need to decide whether we're worried about securing this part back up before we scan it or not. It's been broken before. Has it? Yeah, look right here. It's been broken and it should look like that. That one's been broken. That one's been broken. And it's been painted over, so. Yeah, this one over here has been broken before. Sure enough. 
Well, that is so true. I'm really tempted to take this piece out and scan it because if I have one of these, I can just stack four okay. around. And this is just sort of like the perfect piece, you know? It just kind of yeah. comes out. I could probably just scan that sucker on a turntable or just go over it somehow. I'm thinking that that would take care of that part. But then we got to scan this middle. Uh, I'm going to put it back here where it's got some support. Yeah, I'm going to shove this underneath it. Yeah. Here, I'll hold this side so you don't get to cool. the fiberglass. Thanks. All right, great. Then we got this big circle that we got to scan. And I have no idea how we're going to get underneath this. <laughs> like, that's impossible. Unless we spin it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Years of... 140 <laughs> years of dust on that thing. 140 years. Bet that's never been dusted right there. <laughs> I'm sure someone got a wild hair one day and did it, but... 125 years ago. <laughs> it's been a while. Ooh. Good grief. Yeah, okay. There's pink on here too. Pink, wow. Yeah. That would have been atrocious. <laughs> it's. See, they're like missing little pieces or like this one. Is it supposed to be short? Oh, it is yeah. supposed to be short like mm -hmm. that. Short right here. And then... But is this one supposed to... Yeah, this one's missing a piece right here. Yeah, so. Like it was made that way almost. Because it's rounded. Mm -hmm. See how rounded that is? And then, well, the amount of paint that used to be. It's supposed to have a little point part right there. And yeah, it wasn't. Same here. I don't think it was made that way. Look. Huh. Who knows? Well, this is a major challenge. So, uh, how are you going to scan it? How am I going to scan this thing? <laughs> All right, I think we're uh... <laughs> oh. just, just look around. <laughs> There's so much dust in the air from that I thing. think we've taken all the dust off of this and thrown it into the air. E yep. Perfect. Good job. Well, we made some good progress today on the medallions. We flipped it successfully, this one big one here, and we flipped it. And we've been able to do some cleaning on it, on the front of it. We've discovered that it has several layers of paint Nikki's over there with a dental pick going through and trying to get that section as cleaned up as we possibly can. What you're looking at here is a 3D scanner. This is a hope and a dream that we can somehow scan parts of this or the whole thing into the laptop and then have it three-dimensionally printed. Um, that's a long shot. It seems like a pretty highly technical thing that we're gonna have to work on very hard to figure out whether we can do this. So more to come on that, but. We got it successfully flipped and we're off to the races on getting it cleaned up.